I ain't gonna lie. Killzone 3 sucks more ass than a hands-on demo at the Analingus Convention. I mean, I can't believe Guerrilla Games did this shit to us again. You would think they would have learned their fucking lesson from Killzone 2, but no. The same shit that was wrong with Killzone 2 and the same shit that plagued Black Ops is what's the fucking problem in this fucking game. I mean, they have bad servers, horrendous hit detection, and a battle system that rewards campers instead of runners. I mean, the only thing I can say is that I played this shit slightly longer than Black Ops, and that ain't saying much. Well, no, I only played Black Ops for four fucking days. Now, I don't know if these are dedicated servers or what, but I do know that Guerrilla Games is located out in Amsterdam, so it's quite possible that these servers are being run by some dude who's like stoned off his ass the whole time with a bottle of absinthe and hookers at his side. But you know, the Dutch know how to make like wooden clogs and windmills and all that other shit. I don't know if they know how to make video games and servers and one. Oh, and they know how to make those flat pancakes, you know what I'm talking about? Not the round, fluffy American buttermilk pancakes, but they make like these little flat, crispy pancakes. This shit's just tasty. But anyway, they already announced that a patch is coming, so that's all good and whatnot, you know? I don't know if it's gonna fix the server problems, but I know for damn sure it's not gonna fix the balance issues this game has. Now, it's actually taken me a while to decide on what video I was gonna post up. All my scores have been fucking terrible. So I've been trying to find a decent scoring game that's entertaining, but I really don't have one. So I finally decided to post up this piece of shit because as the title says, the final score is gonna be incredibly fucking stupid. So I just had to post it. I mean, I literally had to do a double and triple take at the end of this motherfucker when I saw the score because I couldn't believe that I was literally looking at this bullshit, man. And as you can see, I had to break this video into two parts because it was just too fucking long. The file was way too large to post to YouTube. Initially, I did this motherfucker in one whole video. I mean, I sat here and talked for 20 whole fucking minutes, but then when I tried rendering this motherfucker, it went past the two gig limit. So now, we've broken it up into part one, part two, I had to redo this whole fucking commentary, and now I have two videos up on this motherfucker. But like I said, this game has some serious fucking problems. And it's quite possible that this is gonna be the only commentary of a full game that I post. I mean, I'm not joking about this shit. I've looked through all my games, and I had between shitty scores, getting thrown in the rooms in progress, barely breaking even, and my games are just flat out not entertaining. I mean, the only time I have a decent score is when I spawn camp like a bitch. So my choices for posting games are a shitload of games with average scores and me dying all the goddamn time, games where I'm just spawn camp and staying in one fucking place for a whole game just for a decent score, or games where I go negative trying to win the game with a team full of jackasses that are just fucking camping for stats. Now, like almost every other online game, you know that you need to run with a party or a squad of people that you trust, but this game makes it even more important. Those of you who are used to running and gunning around solo and kicking ass like Call of Duty game, you're gonna find out you can't do that shit here, man. Unless you plan on posting up for an entire game or camping your fucking ass off, solo players are gonna have a much harder time getting a good game in Killzone. Run and gunning is something that doesn't even work in this motherfucker, man. As much as you want to run and gun, you realize that this game is just not meant for a run and gunner. So my play style and my time that I play, I usually play late at night on the East Coast time, just leads to straight death after death after death after death. And in turn, I have terrible games and none of that shit is YouTube worthy. And like I said, I'm not posting up bullshit on YouTube just to post it. I want to post some entertaining shit that actually has value. This shit, no fucking value at all. So, like I said, it's quite possible this is going to be the only full video that I post. I do have tons of fails in this motherfucker, so I'm definitely getting a fail volume out this bitch, and I'm probably going to be sending over a number of clips over to Jay Easy for his Get Shitted On Sunday series. So if you're watching, Jay, I'm going to be lighting up your inbox with tons of stupid shit that kills me in this motherfucker. Anyways, here's how we gonna roll in these videos. I know not everyone plays Killzone, so I'm gonna explain some of the basic shit over the next two videos, but not to the point that I bore the shit out of people who play it and understand all the bullshit in this game. But what you're watching right now is a match called Warzone. Warzone is all kinds of crazy shit thrown into one clusterfuck of a match. I mean, this shit is just one hot mess of games thrown together, man. I mean, the idea is it takes all the objective game modes that we know and love. You know, like Domination, Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, and all that other good shit. And it throws into one gigantic game mode where two teams are playing a best of seven series. So it's just like a playoff series like sports, you know, baseball and basketball. Hockey don't count because the only person outside of Canada that watches that shit is Patriots. Now look at this shit, man. Perfect example of fucking hit detection in this game. God damn it, motherfucker, I shot this asshole. Jesus fucking, this is what I'm talking about with this goddamn hit detection. I know I hit that motherfucker. I know my bullets were nailing this son of a bitch, but like I was like three fucking hit detects and naturally I fucking died. But anyway, man, getting the fucking headache watching this shit. But to win Warzone, you need to win four matches out of the seven to win like a best of seven series. So the game's gonna keep going even if you win all four matches. So let's say you win the four matches, right? It's not gonna stop like a playoff game or the World Series. What it's gonna do is it's gonna keep going all the way to the seven. So you can win seven nothing. You can win six one or five two, whatever the fuck. But the idea is to win the first four games. That way for the last three games, all you can do is just camp for stats and say, fuck it, I'm just gonna kill people and not really give a flying fuck. But in this motherfucker right here, we're playing Search and Destroy. And Search and Destroy is like their version of Demolition. These fuckers are trying to blow up our shit. 
and we're trying to defend it like a pimp protecting his hole. So I'm out here trying to keep the pimp hand strong, but I'm getting my ass kicked left and right because you're going to notice, and I'm going to explain this later in the second video, I have a job to do during this entire match. And the problem is, by me doing that job, I get my ass handed to me left and right. I mean, I get my ass whooped in this motherfucker trying to do my goddamn job. Now this match, look at this shit, man. Motherfucking hit the tech bomb. Like I said, I got thrown into pro this match in progress. And the first mission was assassination. I don't know if you guys saw that. That shit was over in like 20 seconds. What we had to do was we had to kill somebody on their team. They randomly select who you got to kill, and then you got to go find this motherfucker and knock his ass out. Now, later, we're going to have an assassination mode where we got to protect our own homie. But, you know, fuck that, man. I ain't going to worry about that shit. Assassination annoys the shit out of me. Because when they pick me, that means I got to go fucking camp in a corner and hide like a bitch, man. That shit fucking sucks. So, online has two other game modes. One is called your basic team death match. It's called Guerrilla Warfare. But that shit is boring, man. Look at fucking hit detection. That shit is boring as fuck. Now, the, 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 I mentioned that they're going to be coming out with a patch, and the patch is actually going to expand the kill limit to 100, because right now it's only 50. I mean, a fucking 8-on-8 eight eight match with only 50 kills is over in like 3 minutes. I mean, shit, I finished one match, right? I finished on the winning team with 9 kills. 9 whole fucking kills. Can you imagine that in Call of Duty? Can you really imagine that shit in Call of Duty? Somebody would laugh your fucking ass right off of YouTube if you posted a fucking nine kill team deathmatch, man. That's some serious bullshit. I don't know what the fuck just killed me right there. I would love for someone to explain what the fuck killed me. I see a skull next to my name. I don't see a gun. I don't see a grenade. I don't see nothing. I just know that I fucking died from something. Something fucking killed me right there. So that's just some absolute bullshit. Now, the other game mode they have online is called Operations. And no, it's not like the board game where you pull that motherfucker's funny bone out and his nose glows and all that bullshit. It's like that game mode from uh, Medal of Honor or Battlefield Bad Company. You know, where you have one team attacking and the other team defending. I don't know what the fuck the name of the game is because I didn't play that shit. But it's just like that. And they add some cutscenes and cinematics and look at this shit, man. Look at this fucking hit. Look at that shit. Come on, I hit him four fucking times and didn't give me a goddamn kill. That's bullshit. Now, I know I was nailing that fucking bot that was right there that was shooting my ass. But I wasted all my fucking ammo trying to shoot that guy in his fucking back. And he just ran away like a motherfucker. That's some bullshit, man. Total fucking bullshit. Like I was saying, Operations, it has some cool shit. Because they had all these cinematics and cutscenes for people who are doing cool shit. But in the end, I didn't have any good games. Because it comes down to two things. If you're on the defensive team, what you're going to do is you're going to camp. you got to defend your, your property. you got to defend your objective. So I sit there and I just fucking camp my motherfucking ass up. Because my teams are worthless, I'm the only one, like, protecting the objective and whatnot. So I end up, look, another fucking assist. So I end up with, like, 38 kills and 4 deaths, 10 deaths, whatever the fuck it is. But I camp the entire time. Do you guys really want to see me camping in a fucking video game? No, you don't. You want to see a motherfucker running around. The last thing you want to see is some guy just standing fucking still. Now, when I'm on the attacking team, I don't think I go positive because I'm the only motherfucker trying to win. And that's why I said in this game, you have to play with a party. I mean, it is imperative to find a fucking party that you know can do some ass kicking up in this motherfucker. So that's why I'm probably not going to be posting up any operations unless you really want to see me camp for stats and whatnot. So none of that shit is really great to post. Now... Right now, we got some team deathmatch in this motherfucker. And this is the third of the series. Remember, I mentioned it's like a best of seven. So what we're going to do right here, this is going to be the last game mode that I show for video part one. And in part two, we're going to pick it up where I start explaining about some of the classes, some of the other bullshit that kills you in this game and that pisses me off. I don't know how the fuck I survived this shit. Somebody can explain that to me. I mean, it's a free kill. I got a headshot on that motherfucker, but he was about to melee the shit out of me, and I should have had my neck snap right in this motherfucker. But anyway, y'all know the usual drill. Rate, comment, subscribe, and all that. Oh, God, come on, man. Still don't get the fucking kill. Just watching this shit pisses me off. Got a fucking assist even though they let me kill the fucking bond. But anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. As you know, this is just part one. So you guys are going to have to watch part two to see the rest of this fucking video. And to see this fucking bullshit score that I was mentioning. And again, I got shot in my ass for trying to run away from this motherfucker. But anyway, we're about to win the team deathmatch right here. You see my score right there. Hopefully you guys will tune in to see part two. And you guys will continue to hear my rant in the next video.